Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add product filter in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. Alright, so now you can see here we are inside the dashboard of our WordPress or the WooCommerce site. So let's just have a look at our site first. Alright, so now you can see here in our WooCommerce shop we have these products. Okay, so we actually have the nine products here and I will add the product filter here. So first of all, for that, I have to go back to our dashboard and you have to remember one thing here that I am using the Astro theme and the Elementor. So for the product filter, we will actually be using the plugin. Okay. And it would be compatible with our themes. Okay. So it can also be compatible with the other themes as well. Okay. So first of all, I have to go inside our website. Okay. Because I have to create a space in the sidebar for our product filter. All right. So first of all, I have to go inside the WooCommerce and here I would go into the journal and here I will actually create the sidebar for our product filter. All right. So now you can see here that we have the space for our product filter. Okay. So let's just publish this and now we will go back to our dashboard. All right. So now I have to go inside the plugin. We have to add a new plugin here. All right. So here I actually have to search for the product filter. Okay, you can see the bunch of different product filters here, but we will be using product filter by WBW. So I have to install this. So the plugin is installed. Okay, so I have to activate this right now. All right, so now you can see here that our product filter is activated and you will see the new option here of WBW product filter. So I have to click on the add new filter. So as you can see here, we already have a single filter, but I will delete this and we will create the filter from the scratch. All right. So let's just add new filter. I will give it a name here, product filter. So let's just save this. All right. So now you can see here in the product filter. Now we have to add the different filters. Okay. So the first thing I want to add is the price filters. So I would simply click on the add and it will add the price filter. As you can see here, we have the price filter. All right. So now I want to add the product category filter. So now you can see here, we have the product category filter here and you can also see the bunch of different filters here. So we have used the price product filter. Now I will add sort by and I will also add the feature and we will add on sales and stock status. Okay. We'll see the rating here. All right. So we can't add the search by text because it comes with the pro version of our plugin. All right. So I think I have added all the necessary filters here. So let me just save this. Okay. And let's just explore the other options here. So we have the options. I just want to show it on the shop. Okay. And let's just see the other options. Okay. All right. So let's just go into the buttons. All right. So this would actually show the clear button and you can also see the filter activation type. And so right now the activation type is the filtering button. So whenever I add the filtration here, to apply that filtration, I have to click on the filter button. But if you want to filter the data automatically, I have to enable this from here. All right. So this would actually filter the data automatically. All right. We have the loader. All right. So we can't change the icon here because it is the part of the pro version. All right. So in the design, we have this general design. Okay. So for the custom design, we have to use the pro option as well. Okay. But you can manipulate the design by writing the custom CSS code and the JavaScript. All right. So let's just, uh, save our filter now. All right. So we have created our filter. So now we just have to add it on our, uh, website. So I have to go inside the appearance and in the appearance, I have to go into the widgets. All right. So now you can see here, we are inside the widget. So I have to click on the WooCommerce sidebar. And I just have to click on this plus icon to add a block. So I'm going to simply browse our product filter. So, okay. 
all right so now you can see here w b w product filter so just have to click on this all right so we have added our filter since we can have the multiple filters in our product filter so i would have to choose our filter but right now as we know that we only have a single filter so let's just add this and update the widgets all right so now let's just go back to our woocommerce site let's just refresh the page all right so now you can see our product filter here the first one is the price range and the second one is the categories and, and then we have the sorting filter then featured on sale uh, in stock or out of stock and we also have the ratings all right all right so let's just try our filter here so i'd simply click on graphic card okay so i have to click on the filter okay so you can see here we have a single graphic card so let me just click on the laptops uh, click on the filter okay so as you can see here we have a single laptop all right so now let's just go for the products that are on the sale so let's just click here and click filter and now you can see here we only have the products that are on the sale all right so we can also change the sorting of our products so i will simply click on the price from low to high filter all right so now you can see the sorting by the price from low to high all right so this is how our product filter is working but one thing that i have noticed here that when we were doing the configuration on our product filter there was an option of automatically updating the filter but that is not the case here so i simply go back to our widget and we're gonna go our filters simply go to the product edit and in the options all right so i think i just misunderstood this option so that is my bad so let's just disable this and save our uh, filter again go back to the uh, woocommerce page okay i have to uh, refresh the page i think all right so let's just add the filter again and click on the filter all right so it is working perfectly all right so the option that i misunderstood was simply saying that whenever i click on any single filter it would automatically update the values of other filter all right so that was the mistake from my side all right so this is it and our product filter is working perfectly and this is all for this video if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel